Little Illusion video. I really like the last one. I want to do another one when your hair malfunctions. So we're gonna get right into this. So there's a picture of some cars on a street. It looks like an old style pic. Until you go to the next one and they're just toy cars on a piece of wood at an angle. So it's like, how do you go from this to this? I mean, that's pretty insane. Angles are everything. Talking to all you girls on Insta. All right, so take a look at this. When you look away, it's supposed to speed up, so. Oh my god, it's going so fast. I can see it at the corner of my eye and it's going really fast. Try it. Oh my god. Stare at this for 30 seconds and watch Van Gogh's Starry Night come alive. Yo, I ain't got 30 seconds, but let's, let's stare at it. Whoa, this is like some real life hypnotism. Hypnotis hypnosis. <laughs> I don't even know how to say it. Whoa, it's just like trippy right now okay i don't see van gogh's starry night anywhere have i not been staring at it long enough Whoa. is this how you brainwash people is this what drugs feels like is this what happens when you take marijuana i don't see anything but spinning ass circles whoa Whoa! No, dude! Everything is moving! My drink is moving! Whoa! I want to do that again! Hold on, I'm gonna stare at this again. Cause it like makes everything move like really freaky. Oh, you're supposed to look at his starry night pick after. First we're gonna look at this. I think I've been brainwashed enough. I mean, I ain't got 30 seconds to just chill here staring at this. And then look at this. Whoa! It's moving! It's moving! It's coming to life! Okay, it's not as cool as, like, real life stuff. I suggest you look at that and then you look around your room and everything is like... <laughs> Alright, so this is a GIF. It's definitely moving. That's not an illusion. It's definitely moving. So blink fast or wave your hand in front of it very fast. I feel like, oh, let's blank. I see like stuff all around, it's like changing images. Okay, that, that ain't that cool. Calm your titties. I saw this, I saw this the other day and I was like, no way, no way in heck. The blue and green spirals are actually the same color. You see this? Uh-uh. That's not the same color as this. Oh, so see? Exposed. No, these are not the same color. Copy, paste it into Photoshop, whatever. Use the eyedropper. It's not the same color. Yeah. We gonna put this in Photoshop and we're gonna find out for ourselves. Okay, so you say the blue and the green are the same colors. How can it be the same colors? I just selected it. It's green. I just selected it. It's blue. I don't I don't trust this. I don't get these things. Don't don't fall for these things. But it's not the same colors. I don't trust these optical illusions anymore. When you look at these two pics, which circle looks bigger? This orange one or this orange one? Obviously, this one looks much bigger. But they're supposed to be the same size. Even when I zoom in, that doesn't look right. We're going to test this out. Okay. So, that Oh my god, it is! It's the same size! Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. It didn't look like it. I think you could agree. Those two oranges, they're the same size. But do the carpets match the drapes? What, what, what? So this is a sculpture in New Zealand. It's not a picture, it's not photoshopped or anything. It's supposed to be a tissue. It's real. Yo, this is the coolest thing ever. Oh look, cows, there's cows by it. Do they go moo? Oh, those are buffalo. They're not cows, sorry, I'm stupid. <laughs> sorry, I was jumped on my head as a baby. Whoa. So this dude, he disappears. Look at this, look at this. What? Is it a reflection? Like behind him or something? I think it's a reflection. But yo, this is creepy. I don't know what you guys think. Okay, so back to this thing. The green and the blue is supposed to be the same color, but I still don't get this. But watch this. So they're taking away the orange stripes right now. 
So do you see the orange stripes in here? They're taking away the orange stripes just to leave the pink. So they took away the orange stripes and now there's only pink stripes and green. And they took away the pink and then the, the stars are all green. All of them are green. Look at this again. This, this is the trippiest of them all. Like I, I can't believe it. Here's the original pick. There's orange and pink stripes going through the green. But it's making it look blue. And now you take away the orange. And you can see that these are green. But green right next to the pink makes it look blue. And you take it away. Um, I can't. I can't. What is this? Bro, I was looking at this pic and the blue. I, I think there's something wrong with my eyes. I, or the, there's something wrong with my brain. Because I, I don't get this. Ma'am, I don't understand. It, it was blue and, and, and now it's green. We're gonna stare at the screen for this one. We're gonna stare at the middle of the screen and then we're gonna look at our hand. I mean, this is similar to the one I just did, but I mean, I wanna do it again because this was fun. This is like being on drugs, but without paying money for it and doing drugs and failing your drug tests and I don't know, I've never done drugs, so I, I don't know what to tell you guys, but I'm still staring at this. I think we've stared at it a good length of time, maybe a couple more seconds, and I feel like it's going too slow. I like the other one because it was like going like hella fast, but okay, uh, I'm gonna look at my hands now. Whoa! Okay. Oh, my eyes hurt. Look at these hot dogs right here. Delicious, right? <gasps> Only one cut! That's because it's a drawing. So they drew a hot dog, took all that effort, put real ketchup and mayo on it, and then cut it. I, I don't like those kind of hot dogs. I, I like the ones you can eat. All right, stare at this red dot for 10 seconds. Whoa, okay, it just changed colors. I'm staring at the red dot. There's a countdown timer. Are you guys staring at the red dot? You best be staring at the red dot. Ta-da! Oh my god, I can see colors! I mean, it lets you see colors for a little bit. So this picture went viral a while ago, and I stared at it for so long, trying to figure out what was wrong with it. Because it just looks like bricks to me, and there's like a little pebble rock thing. I, I don't know, it just looks a little off, you know? If you guys don't know what's wrong with this picture, I'll give you a second. Look at it. Did you find it yet? Did you find it yet? Do you see the cigar? <laughs> I thought this was a rock at first, but somebody just put a cigar like in between the brick. And it just looks so off. And now once you've seen it, you can't unsee it. So one of these faces is female and one is male. Which one is it? Did you just assume this dude's gender? It's actually the same person. I don't know if it's a dude or a guy, don't at me, but it's the same face. You probably said this one was the male and this one was the female. It looks like they have redder lips. It's the same exact picture with different levels of contrast. Oh look, what a nice parrot. What's wrong with it? Something's wrong with it. This ain't your average parrot. He don't want no Fruit Loops. Cause it's a person with body paint. See, this is the face, this is their arm. It took me a while to see this. I had to like look at it. I'm like, that's, that's not a parrot. It's not a painting of one, it's a person. See, this is the leg. They put the leg up, this is their knee. This is not family friendly. Okay, look at the dot above. We're gonna stare at it. Is anything gonna happen? Find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Oh, whoa! I don't know why that scared me. It just changed color. I, I wasn't expecting the pick to move. I didn't think it was a gif. I thought it was just a pick. All right, take a look at this pick. What do you see? Cause I see good, but apparently it says good and evil, like inside the good. See, if you look closely, this is an E, V, I, L. Shook. In 2017, you can make clouds. All you gotta do, get a can, spray into the air. <laughs> I'm kidding, you can't make clouds. I thought it was a cool pic. Oh, what a beautiful pic of some dolphins swimming. Look, we got a dolphin here, we got a dolphin here, we got a dolphin here and here. This is the tail, this is the dolphin, this is another dolphin. But if you look at it again, 
You can see this dude is grabbing her tits. Are you sure about that? It depends how you look at it. If you ask a kid to look at this pic, they'll see dolphins. But if you ask an adult, they'll see two people doing things. A kid will see dolphins because they have no context of what's going on. Like, they've never seen this happen. They don't know what it is. They have no cognitive recognition. Is that the word? But they'll see dolphins. Oh, what if your parents never took you to SeaWorld as a kid? Yo, I remember I wanted to go to SeaWorld so bad and all my cousins were like bragging about it. Like, yo, we went to SeaWorld. Like, I want to go to SeaWorld and we never went to SeaWorld. Actually, we got tickets and then my dad got mad and then we just went home without going to SeaWorld and then got a refund for the tickets. Bro! my life. So is this lady spinning clockwise or counterclockwise? Does she change direction? I'm looking at her right now and she's going clockwise. I don't want to blink and miss it, but she's going clockwise right now. She keeps spinning, keeps spinning. How long is this gif? Gif? I don't know. <gasps> she switched! She changed! She changed! I saw her changed. Proof? I saw her change. Now she's going counterclockwise. Hello friends, today I'm bringing you some bad vibes. Just kidding. We don't need bad vibes. Okay. Today, we're gonna put your eye power and your brain power to the test. It's late, it's three in the morning. I know I always say it's three in the morning, it's three in the morning when I'm recording, but I'm not even kidding. Oh my God, 3.13 a.m. Cause that's when we record. Okay, blink fast. Whoa! Oh my god. Do you see it when the circle is in the middle? Oh my god. It goes to like three, three, four different pictures. Ah! My eyeballs! Don't just watch this video. You gotta try it with me. And tell me what you see. Can you see the black and white arrows at the same time? Yes. Yes, I can. They just keep switching and switching and switching and switching. Like this video so I know you can see both. <laughs> Going to the doctor for an eye exam is so 2018. I'm gonna test your eyesight, your brain power, your willpower to live all in this video. This is not a moving picture. Okay, so this is not supposed to be a moving picture. This is definitely a moving picture. Even if I don't move my eyes. Oh my God, it's still moving. It's still moving moving. You know, the only way to test this out is to screenshot it and see if it still does it. Oh my god, it's even moving in the screenshot! Even from far away. I can't make it stop. I literally can't make it stop. If it moves in a screenshot, that's how you know it's real. I'll give you a second. See what I tell you, it's moving. I'm not making it move, it's a screenshot. Okay, so this picture over here has 12 black dots. What, at the same time? At the same time, there's 12, no, oh my God. It's impossible, impossible to see all 12 at once. But if you look at the rows one by one, oh my, my eyes, my eyes. Please help me. Oh man, we need some eye drops after this. Let me know, can you guys see the dots? I ain't crazy. It's like, I feel like this is a gif. Jif. I feel like it's moving, but it's not. It's your eyes playing mind tricks on you. So this picture is supposed to be two perfectly round circles and they don't touch. They don't touch. Okay, see when you first look at it, you're like, oh no, there's no way. But it's like, oh God, this is making me so dizzy right now looking at this. <laughs> I see one circle. Oh, there's two circles, but it's like they're overlapping some weird way. Whoa, okay, so here we got proof, receipts. That there is indeed two circles. Okay, this makes it much better. Oh, I can't believe it. Cause it's like, if you look at this, there is no way. Oh, you know what? If you follow the line of the circumference of the circle. Yes, I use that correctly this time. You can find where it starts and ends. And it joins up. It's legit. My friend told me she hates the word legit. She's like, it's legitimate. But I hate how people just throw around the word legit. Oh no, another one of these. Another one. Another still image. If it's still, why is it moving then? Hello FBI, we're gonna need some answers. Buzzfeed claims that this is a still <laughs> image. I don't even wanna do the screenshot test because it's not a GIF. GIF, it's a still image. But it's clearly moving. Y'all see this, I'm not crazy. You see the grapes moving. Or are they olives? <laughs> we 
Would you believe us if we said all these rows are parallel? Okay, hell no. Okay, if you look at it, it's obviously not. Like some of the lines are like curved and not straight, but it's so crazy because if you look at them individually, like look at every single row individually, they are 100% straight. Bro, are you seeing this right now? Like take a look at this. Okay, here's proof. It doesn't even look like the same picture once the middle rows are highlighted. Bro, these optical illusions got me Fund up because it's fun and it's family friendly. Bro, don't play with me. This is not a still image. We gotta do the screenshot challenge. Oh no, we even did the screenshot. I swear, y'all playing with me. This is so crazy. This is a still image. It's not moving, but it's moving. I see it moving with my own two eyes. I'm not crazy. Leave a like if I'm not crazy. As if I'm not seeing things. Cause oh, I am tripping right now. I need to go to sleep, but I'm also tripping right now. Like they're all moving like, you're not crazy. Definitely not. This is insane. It's insane. It's insane. Pure and utter insanity. We're not done yet. Where's my water? <gasps> I started a video and I have no water. Dehydrated! Goodbye world. For I am parched. I drink a lot of water by the way. I'm a thirsty bitch. Person. Indeed. Oh no. This is crazy. So this one is even more insane than the one that we just saw. Because all of these lines are parallel or perpendicular. Like perfectly. No way. No way. These are squigglies. If you guys see squigglies, comment below. This is definitely squiggly. But look, if you look at each individual box, look at all of these squares. All of these squares are perfectly straight squares. Even when it squiggle. Is it even squiggly then? Oh, this is actually insane. Let me tell you, this has got me fund up. <laughs> this is hard. This is actually painful to look at. My brain is having an aneurysm. That was a joke. But this is actually insane. All of these squares are perfectly square for 90 degree angles. But it's squiggly. It's so squiggly. So where do the squiggles come from? How do your eyes see the squiggles? I need someone to explain this to me. I hate this. This has ruined my night. Okay, so here is a hallway. If you cover up the middle of it, it's supposed to go faster. So I'm just gonna cover it right now. You guys do this too on your screen. We are running and now it's slow. Ooh! Sprinting my booty off right now and back to slow. Oh my god, it's crazy. It's like I have the force. Ooh, make it go faster. Faster! Yes! Try it. Let me know if it works for you. This picture has 16 giant circles. Can you find them? Circles? These none but rectangles here. Oh, oh my god. What did my eyes just do? I see all 16 at once. Whoa, and now I see rectangles again. Circles, come back. Oh, like keep looking at this picture. Keep looking at it and you will see the circles. They'll just like pop up and then they'll go away. If you blink rapidly, it might accelerate the process. Oh my God, this is actually insane. It's like, where are the circles? I see nothing about rectangles here, but no. Whoever made this, absolutely genius. Here's some help if you can't find them. Here are all the circles. I'll let you look at it again. Oh my eyes. How many black dots can you find here? Oh, there are way too many to count. But it's like they keep going away and coming back. Oh, maybe they're not real black dots. I'm gonna look at each row individually because like where is the black dot coming from? I don't see any black dots. They're all white like if I go through it individually. Oh my god, this is making my head hurt. Where is the black dot? There's only one black dot? Oh, there isn't any black dots. But your brain desperately wants to see a black dot. Bruh. I can't, this is, ooh. I'm freaking out right now. Like there's so many black dots, but when I look in each individual row, there's not a single one. Can you tell which pair of nuns is the smallest? Yeah, obviously the ones on the bottom. But no, Buzzfeed is like, no, they're all the same size. No, I, I don't believe this, not for a second. These are much smaller than the ones up here. Okay, I'm gonna lazily crop all of these nuns out, okay? You can't tell me that these big ass nuns over here are the same size as the ones on the bottom. Mm -mm. Nope, I am calling you out. <gasps> What? Bro, no way. No way. No way. No way. What? Look at the picture again. This is some kind of black voodoo nun magic, okay? They are the same. <laughs> but now. <laughs> what? Oh my god. No, now I see it in the picture and they all look the same size. What? You gotta be kidding me. You gotta. Like, these look so much bigger than these. 
Like, this is an edited picture. I am done. I am literally done after this. That is insane. Insane. Ooh. The whole room is spinning in Burger King colors. Do you guys see it? Just focus on it for a second. Oh, if you look to the side, it goes faster. Oh, it's making me dizzy and hungry. Bro, I don't know how much more of this I can take. This is actually making me extremely dizzy and nauseous. Wee, wee, wee. This is just a plain gray bar in the center of the picture with no gradient, we promise. Like if you see a gradient, because I don't see no plain gray bar. This is light gray, and then it goes to dark gray. We gotta do the Photoshop challenge, okay? Color picker, gray. Oh, it's the same color gray. Okay, if you don't believe me, I'm cropping out just the gray bar. Oh, no, not the nuns. <laughs> and then we're gonna get rid of the rest of the picture. <gasps> It's magically all the same color. It's just one shade of gray. Hey, <laughs> what 50 shades of gray should have been called. One shade of gray. Cause he the only mans you need, Anastasia. But yeah, this is the one. We swatched it. We done swatched it. It has been swatched. My existence has been swatched. Hello friends, it's me. Today we're checking out some optical illusions that are gonna hurt your brain. This guy is gonna go down this slide. <gasps> not a slide, that's a slime. Don't go down a metal slide in the summertime or this is gonna happen to you. So I was looking at this video and that's a dog, right? Like a Labrador, but his head is stuck. Where's the rest of his body? Surely he can't be a floating decapitated head. No, it's a cat. <laughs> the cat just turned around like, why are you recording me? It's a drawing, right? It looks like a cookie cutter. Oh, it's flat. I thought it was a heart. At first I thought the pencil was a drawing and then they removed it and then I'm like, wait, the heart is flat. It looks like it's chilling vertically. This puzzle is gonna blow your mind because even though all the pieces fit inside the square, if we remove the pieces and reorientate them just like this, you will notice that they will start fitting back inside the square just like so. Here's where it gets really interesting. Because even though they fit back inside the square, there is a huge <gasps> piece missing in the middle. Can somebody please explain where that missing piece went? I knew exactly where this was going, but I don't understand how this happens. Those red shapes covered the entire surface area of the square. How is it possible that you could just rearrange them? Like, I would have understood a little gap, but a huge Square in the middle. I call this the trickery of trapezoids. Somebody need to explain this to me. <gasps> you almost gave me a heart attack. I thought he was throwing the dog into the clouds. It was snow. Like, tell me you didn't look at this and be like, that's a cloud. He threw him off a building. No, just into the snow. Oh, <sighs> I am relieved. <gasps> Wait, what? What? No way. How do you take away his chair and he's just. You don't feel that? Oh, no way. Lift up your feet. What? What no, uh-uh. Wait, what, what is that right there? Chair? That's your chair. My chair? What the? Oh! <laughs> when you realize, wait, I'm supposed to fall right about now. It's like in the cartoons. Nothing happens until they actually realize that the chair is gone. Oh, it's my cue to fall. So how is he doing this? Either witchcraft or he got thighs of steel. You know, it takes years of hovering over public toilets to be able to do this. Okay, another one of these. All of those pieces fit perfectly inside of the triangle. But wait, when you put them in another way, the black piece does not fit anymore. Y'all keep saying, explain this, explain this. I got no explanation for this. Someone's math teacher, explain this to me. Why wow, the salami lid ain't gonna fit the salami. So this next illusion is created by a designer named Vivian Chow. You might be wondering what kind of furniture it is. You wanna take a guess? Is it a chair? <gasps> it is a chair. Now, if you guessed a chair, oh, you'd be that's correct. Cool. But it's actually 11 chairs. Get this, each piece comes out 11 from the smallest chairs. miniature chair all the way to the last chair. At first, I thought it was like a hallway. You know, ones that look like a tunnel that go on for a very long time. But no, it doesn't even reach the end of the wall. It's a chair made of 11 chairs. Watch the littlest chair just pop out. We got 10 more of these bad boys in many, many sizes. A chair for the cockroach in your basement, your hamster, your dog, you, and your vice principal with a badonkadon. Wait, you're telling me this isn't like hundreds of feet up into the air? I thought we were on like a skyscraper. We are above the clouds, perhaps on top of a building, looking down. No, the water is right there. <sighs> I don't appreciate this kind of trickery. It's rather disappointing. I thought there was gonna be more sploosh. 
No, 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 don't do it. Don't do it. You're getting too close to the edge. Stop. Wow. I cannot believe that. There was a wall there. You could have fooled me. I thought it was an edge. It looks like you could just walk off the building. But no, it's a wall. I'm gonna have to pick up all my brain cells and put them back together after this video. Not one of these Mario's is actually moving. No way, because they're moving. They're moving very slowly. You tell me they vibe in, in one spot, just changing colors. You know, if you look at the picture as a whole, they are moving very slowly. But if you focus on one individual Mario, they're not moving anywhere. They're just flashing colors. Each ball is moving in a straight line. I'm gonna follow one ball and see how it's moving in a straight line and it doesn't look like it's moving in a straight line. Oh, I don't like this one bit. Y'all just exposed yourself. No, but also a very good explanation because I'm like, I don't believe you. I don't believe that each ball is moving in a straight line. Now that the lines have been exposed, I cannot unsee it and I can see every single ball perfectly moving in a line. And I appreciate it when they explain these things. This dude went to the Museum of Illusions and look at this! Before you even enter, you got this little doohickey. It's a straight rod, but the way it goes around and into the mold of a curved rod. Oh, I don't like that one bit. It looks like it's gonna scratch the edges, but no, it fits perfectly. This has got to be an edit. There is no way. Holograms are not that advanced yet. Not that I know of. I was gonna say, could it be a projector like projecting onto the building? But usually it has to be nighttime for those to show up. I'm gonna say this one's an edit. Y'all y'all are cheating. Y'all are messing with me. I refuse to believe that a giant blue cat just spawned out of this building. This could be the end of all we know. Okay, this is a piece of paper, but the inside is moving. Wait, the way you're bending it, I, I don't like that. How is it moving? Is it a cube? I don't understand how this piece of paper is just like three dimensional. Is, is there something in it? Thumb disappeared for a second. What is that? This is suspicious. All I got out of that, it's paper. There's a chocolate going under these cups. So, oh my God, I already lost it. I already lost it. Are we gonna start this video over or am I just gonna guess? went by way too fast. Okay, that back one, they kind of lifted it up and it felt like there was nothing in there. Okay, it's the one that they're trying to hide from me. It's that one that they just grabbed. Um, oh, it's the middle. It's the middle. Now it's you're probably expecting me to ask you which it's cup in the, the middle. is under now, but no, 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 let's leave that. Instead, be honest, did you see the duck? If you did, let me know in the comments. Also, did you spot the color changing cups? They were a different color at the start to the end. Well, either way, I was gonna say it was the one in the middle, but <laughs> the first like three seconds I lost it. So if you got this one, good for you. No chocolate for me. Oh, you have this house illusion here and it looks like it's moving. It looks like it's going that way. But the person holding the camera is actually rotating and moving. So depending on how you look at it from whatever angle, it looks like a 3D house, but it's not 3D. You can't even live in it. You can't even walk through the front door. Like you see the actual shape of it? It's kind of like a V. It's funny because the part that looks like it goes out is actually going in. Tell me, do you see it? Oh, it was drawn on. That's weird. I mean, yeah, now I see it, but that looks like a handle. Like he's holding a handle, but it's not. It's give me flashback to those markers that were actually fingers. <sighs> he got a TV on him, but wait, wait, you can't have the hand behind there. It's like a hole. Oh, that's cool. So this whole time he just had a camera on his back. And then the screen on the front. So whatever is behind him, the camera displays on the front. And it makes it look like there was a hole through you. That's pretty genius. You know, I thought it was just a green screen or something. Here we have some traffic lights or stop lights. Okay. I've put a cyan filter over them yes. now. Now red light can't pass through a cyan filter, yet you're still seeing the red light, right? Yeah. Well, I can guarantee you that there is no red light there at all. There's no red at all. It's your brain working over time convincing you of the red. Can I prove it? Well, I can try. Let's block out the rest of the traffic lights. Now look, it was grey all along. Wait. There is no red. So it covered the rest of it. The blue cancels out the red and then it's grey. But my brain is looking at this, it sees traffic lights, so it's like, that one should be red. But it's not. It was grey this whole time. 
Those white squares that are moving around, stare at the eye in the middle of the picture just for a few seconds and see what happens to them. Whoa, so when you're staring at the eye in the middle of the picture, you see a perfect square just like do, 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 just move around. Is this just me or are the squares also changing colors? I feel like they're not white squares anymore. They're like yellow, pink, and purple. Or am I going insane? Oh, that's not her lips. Why were you putting lipstick on that? That was the eye. I saw it open. If I did not see that open, I wouldn't have known which is a lip and which is an eye. You know, I appreciate that she keeps the confusion to a minimum. She could have chose to just keep me confused. I wouldn't have known. Look, look, look. The fake eye is on the eyelid of the real eye. And then when she opens it, it was all a distraction. That's a lot of noses. Is that even her real ear? I can't believe the drawn on eye, the one right here, looks more realistic than the actual eye. What am I even looking at? What is wrong with this chair? Wait. Wait, no! Zach King, the chair illusionist. You could sit on the chair that way. Why did you sit on the handle? No, it goes this way? You're telling me you couldn't have sat on it the other way? I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Chair is for sitting, not confusing. What's going on in that building? We got red eyes black dragon in there. Just spinning around. Somebody free him. Oh, wait. Is this a screen? This is a screen on a building. But like he's popping out of the building. Like it's 3D. They got 3D TVs now. I ain't even got those. I ain't even got the 3D glasses on. I saw him pop out. See parts of the screen. Make it look like his spikes are like coming off the screen. Like it's it's gotta be reflecting some kind of way. Or maybe it is a hologram. They got hologram. Holograms now. From here, you can see a cube. But from that's, here, that's a black box. You see a pyramid. How? If you actually pay attention, there's a mirror. And as you can see, the pyramid is only halved. When the mirror is there, it looks like it's a full pyramid. And the same thing applies to this side. She explained it to me, and I still don't understand it. It's a black box on this side. And then as soon as you turn to the side of it, it's a yellow pyramid. If you actually pay attention, there's a mirror. And as you can see, the pyramid is only halved. When the mirror is there, it looks like it's a full pyramid. And the same thing applies to this side. Oh, I understand. If there's a mirror, it basically like duplicates it. So it looks like you're either looking at a cube or a pyramid. I'm gonna pretend I understand. <laughs> Oh, okay, this one did it. This one made my head hurt. It hurt until I could see both of her eyes. You know, thank you for doing me the favor of blinking because now I know which ones are the real eyes. But the other ones, the brown ones look so real. It's even got the ring light reflection on it. When somebody says you're two halves of a whole idiot, blink your eyes slowly and yes, and. Can't believe the eyebrows are like overlapping and just like the more I look at this, the more angry it makes me. Like, how is it? <laughs> If you concentrate on the butterfly in this picture, the colors around it should mysteriously disappear. Okay, so we're gonna focus on the butterfly in the middle of the photo. Stare at it and looking. My eyes are burning. How much longer do I gotta do this for? Okay, it's like resetting every time I blink. So basically after you focus on the butterfly, it's supposed to make all the colors around it go away. And it was, it was like fading out for a hot second. And then I blinked and then it just reset it and now I can see colors again. Gonna try it again. Stare intently, only focus on butterfly. Do not focus on anything else. No colors exist, only black and white butterfly. Okay, they're going away except the pesky yellow. Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh, it went you kind of just don't blink and then all the colors around the butterfly will go away bye bye hello friends it's moi your favorite french youtuber only ogs will remember smash like if og today we're doing mind tricks just stare at the dot in the center of the screen okay i like these ones you guys looking just stare at it you can blink occasionally i don't think it will affect it whoa it's colored wait the color's fading wait was that you're telling me that was a black and white image the whole time hold on hold on hold on oh my god it's, it's black and white i saw it in colors what is this medieval sorcery it's basically when you stare at the inverted photo i want to do it again and then it switches to black and white oh <gasps> you see glorious colors for a few seconds. Y'all see that? It's like that Logan Paul video. It's like I'm seeing colors for the first time. I didn't even watch that video. Is he really colorblind though? Walking through the library. So cool. Whoa! At first I was 
like, okay, this is a canvas painting. Oh wait, no, it's a TV screen and they're just moving. Yeah, definitely a TV screen. And then he turns to the side and it's like a 3D piece of art. <sighs> it's crazy how the piece that's protruding the most is the piece that looks like the hallway where it goes in. Please do not touch, yeah. Bro, I'm touching with my eyes and it hurts. Can't imagine what would happen to your finger if you touched it. <laughs> Both rectangles are parallel. Oh no sir, I do not think so. If you fell asleep during your math lessons, parallel is, mm. you're telling me they're, they're, they're mm. the line between them is straight and even. No, it doesn't look like it. It looks like one, it's, it's slanting a little that way, right? Shop test. I'm gonna crop the area, oh my god. I'm freaking out because this, the right side, looks like it's more slanted than the other side. And see, when I cut that out, I made a perfect rectangle and it didn't crop one side more than the other. I think we can agree that they are parallel. Indeed. So as I'm looking at this chocolate bar type thing, it looks like there's a lot of gray spots like jumping all around. Smash like if you see the gray dots. I'm gonna tell you something and it might blow your mind. There are no gray dots in this image. But I'm seeing them, they're right there. There's so many of them. They're just popping all over the place. There's none, it's your imagination. Your mind is literally playing tricks on you. Where do you see the gray dots? They're just like all over the place, right? Even when I put it into Photoshop. So we're gonna zoom in and go like one by one. Do you, do you see any gray dots. But see, they were, they were right here. There was one right there, wasn't there. Where is the dot? It's, it's not there. <laughs> okay, there. There was definitely one there. No! What? Where are you spawning from? Man, these gray dots be sneaky. Oh my god, if I like cover some of them, they still keep coming. What is it about this chocolate bar that makes them so active? Now, do you believe me? Uh, excuse me, my eyes are up here. Which ones? Which ones are the real eyes? Which is the real nose and which are the real lips? Let's play a game. God, I can't even look at this. Her face is just freaking me out. Okay, I'm gonna guess these are the real eyebrows. This is the real eye. This is the real nose and then she drew a nose under the real nose. Or no, this could be the real nose. I don't know. Her nose could be up here or it could be down here. And her lips, don't even get me started on her lips. These look like fake lips, but these look like real lips. But would they really be that low? Then that would make this her real nose. And then don't even get me started on her chin, girl. I cannot with your face right now. Too elaborate for me. <laughs> this is supposed to be perfect squares. Every single one of them. <laughs> Good joke. You really got me, sir. There ain't no way. These are perfect squares. You're hecking with me. Look at that. Oh, okay. When I zoom into them, they actually do look like perfect squares. Look at that. That one. See, see, look at it from far away. Look, that does not look... Okay, these ones do, but this one doesn't. It looks like a little rounded out. Girl, why you built like a basketball? See, this one, that definitely isn't. But when you zoom into it, that's a square in it. See what I tell you? Do we have to check all of these? No. I think you guys believe me. I am shook. I feel like I've been lied to my whole life. We're gonna stare at the center of the dot and not look away and the gray area around it is supposed to disappear. All right, here we go. It's turning into a square. Am I allowed to blink? It's going away. <gasps> It's just moving. Maybe I'm delirious or maybe I'm just tired. Oh my God, it's getting smaller. It's getting small and now it's moving again. Mine is just spinning. Which color matches the shoes the best? Oh geez, you know what? Both of these are very, very similar. Part of the shoe could be the purple one, part of the shoe could be the pink one. I think maybe the purple one. Photoshop test. When in doubt, photo check it out. So that's this purple. So we're gonna going to do a line. This color is this color. Oh no, it's like a perfect blend of both of them combined. I choose none of these colors. This color is more of a, it's like a pink. But if you do the side of the shoe, it's more of this color. It's like the perfect blend of these two. So if I blend the two colors together, oh my God, you get the exact color. Does my little mess workspace make sense to you guys or nah? These two colors are basically the same. Wow. Does that make sense? sense. So these are supposed to be three perfect squares. Excuse me eyeballs. No they're not. Okay when I look at the one in the middle, the one in the middle is perfect. This is tripping me out right now. Like it's too late. Too late for this. I try to like concentrate on this and it keeps like mm, 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 mm. all these squares having a party right now. So two of the squares I believe are perfect squares. The one in the middle that definitely is not perfect. It just does not look perfect.
So this bathroom looks like it's on the top floor, and then there's like a spiral staircase, some pillars, leading down to the pits of the abyss. AKA the toilet. Hey, where is the toilet? Oh, you know what? Down the hole it goes. So this is actually a flat painting on the floor. I know, it's like freaking me out because the side of it tells me otherwise. Like, it looks like it's slanted, like in a really weird way. But it's just a painting. Is the plant real though? That's so weird because the plant looks like there's leaves coming out of it, but the pot is painted on the ground. Ugh, too much for my feeble mind to handle. Ah, oh, not again. Another one of these bathrooms, except we have a toilet. And I'm not talking about the hole in the ground. So this bathroom floor is, again, supposed to be completely flat. Just a regular bathroom floor. But it looks like it's tilted. It's twisted. And oh! What makes it even crazier is the grate is in the bottom of the hole. So, like, no matter how you look at it, it looks like there's a freaking hole in that bathroom. Like, imagine walking into that bathroom like... Oh, no. Maybe if I sit on the toilet, I'll just get sucked into the abyss. We ain't taking no chances. We squatting today. <laughs> This makeup is an illusion. She doesn't actually have a mask on. I know, it just looks like insane artistic makeup skills. Like she drew or edited her face on a mask. No, so I've actually seen how this is done. So the mask is actually her face and then drew on a mask and did a shadow and everything. Like this is so elaborate to make it look like a mask, but it ain't a mask. I, I see you, that's, that's your real face. Two face friends be like, uh, I hate this one. Another still image. I like to call this one the bean. I'm mm, looking like edamames straight off the pod. This is strangely relaxing. It's just like waves. All you gotta do add ambient ocean noises. And then I think you got a pretty good time. Yeah, this, this one's nice. I'm okay with this. Free eye exam. Take off my glasses for this one. No cheating. Increase distance from the chart until it's readable. This looks like blocks to me. Something, something bad eyes. Something, something dark side. That's as far as I can go. Oh, no, something causes bad eyes. Wow. Smash like if you got it. Doing these eye exams causes bad eyes. Here we have a good old cube, right? Oh, no. No, she ain't. She a mess. Oh, back to a perfect cube. This is a shapeshifter. This is what fake friends look like. So here we have this blob of colors. And if you stare at it, it's supposed to gradually fade. Oh my god. I was like, no way. It's, it's just a blob of colors. And then it started, like everything was disappearing. Yo, you gotta try this. Just stare at this. Try not to blink. I feel like if I talk, oh my god, my eyes are watering. I see yellow and oh god. I don't know why I can't keep my eyes open for long. Anybody could beat me in a staring contest right now. It's like everything just mm, smooths out to like a yellow and then it all just like gradually fades away. I am shooketh. All right, all I see is pink dots, right? So when you look at the center, what? You can see green dots. First it starts out like going pink, green, pink, green, and then you see like a whole circle of green. Pink is the opposite of green. So literally, where's the green coming from? It's tripping me out. Here we got this badly photoshopped photo. Remember when people on Facebook would photoshop their selfies to look like this? You know, before there was Facetune. We're gonna look at this with half open eyes. So just like squint, oh my, that's a woman. That dude turned into a woman really fast. Holy Michelle Obama. Is that you? Oh no, it's just the dude. And then my eyes squint and it's her again. I'm just so confused right now. How I can just squint at this image and it goes from like dude to Hwaiman real quick. Imagine if you could do this illusion in real life. Like you just squint at somebody and they just swap genders just like that. You're telling me A and B are the same exact size, but because the shorter edge of A is directly adjacent to the longer edge of B, it looks like B is longer, okay? You know what? For all of these, I'm, I'm, I'm convinced that they're not lying. We're gonna cut A, paste it, then put it on top of B. As you could see, it's the same. It's the same size. No. This is some witchcraft. Who's right? There's seven. No, there's five. There's no end to the first stick. I think that's where they get you. It just kind of like, yeah. See, the first stick doesn't have an end. There's only ends in between each stick. So this right here is actually a slightly slanted line and it just gradually slants and creates this illusion that there's more sticks on the other side. 
So over here we got white chess pieces and black chess pieces. It's basically the same image, but the colors flipped, right? Wrong. So these chess pieces are the same exact color and the background is different. No? The top ones are white and the bottom ones are clearly black, right? Smash like if yeah. There's no way they could be the same color. So I'm going to select the horse right here. Please excuse my horrible selecting skills. And paste him and then drag him over. Oh, it's the same color. They're the same color. Look, I literally cut and pasted it. That is insane what a background change can do. No, no, I'm freaking out. I feel like I've been lied to my whole life if this is legit. Okay, we're gonna even select like the dark part. As you can see in the bottom one, the, the part up top is dark. I'm gonna take this holy guacamole. I'm Sniper Wolf and my mind just got effed. So here we have this figure of an eight and a four. So these two numbers put together like this are supposed to have every single number. How? You got the one here, two. Whoa, how'd they do that, two? And then, oh, I see the three, it's in the eight. Four, of course, five. Oh, it's upside down. I'm like, wait, did they draw a line? That's cheating. You done bamboozled me, but no. And then six, it's upside down, seven, eight, and then nine, and then zero. Ooh, y'all got me good. Whoever came up with this, you, you straight up genius, okay? I see you blessing the world with your genius skills. These circles, this is a still image, not a gif, not a gif, not a video, but they're moving. They're going counterclockwise. Oh wait, no, that one's going clockwise and then the other one's going counterclockwise. Oh, it's weird, they're like changing. It's like when you look at one, another one starts going the opposite direction. Wow, freaky.